Like mm-hmm. last summer, I was a ambassador for Anlux Sportsbook and Hennessy. Both of them hosted the NBA Finals. So I was okay. getting two checks at the same time. So so my, so my so what people don't do is they, even though their interests, they, they, they do five or six different things and they don't overlap. They don't try to mess it. I, and I don't even try, I like sports, most of it, I like basketball, music, art, and film. Most times, two or three of those things interconnect some way, some out. Yeah. So based on all you've done, can you give us, let's just say your top interview from music, top mm-hmm. interview from sports, and then just a third throwaway favorite. And in Bahamas, as a people, we so finicky. We'd spend two thousand dollars to go watch Beyonce. You spend, you save yeah. for that for six months, <laughs> mm-hmm. but you wouldn't. You'd you'd wait till a day. But look at Hans Wanger. Hans Wanger like, tickets came on July thirty first. Mm-hmm. Then they sold us in September twenty sixth. People say, "Oh my God, they sold out." Three months later, <laughs> <laughs> that's us. That's us for sure. So, how did you? Time management. Like, how does it work? I know you said, like, you mm-hmm. were, it's because you're now recently unemployed, but you wasn't unemployed all this time. No, no, it was only how one year last year. cover everything you do? Like, you didn't even get a hat, many hats to wear. I feel like you have different hoodies, and every hoodie is something different. <laughs> that's good. That's good one, different yeah, hoodie. So, okay, <laughs> that's not with the, like I said, I used to do the, the sports hoodie, right? Mm-hmm. Um, most of the sports stuff, stuff happens in the fall, November, okay. December. Um, other than that, uh, unless Karifta happens here, which is Easter. And then um, IWF, which, which I don't know what they put it this year because we finally get it back. So other than that, the local sports is the end of the year. Boom. When it comes to carnival, because I, I run um, Masqueraders Media, Masqueraders, how much Masqueraders? Mas- carnival is January to May. So we have the launch, we have um, we have a juve, we have a boat party, we have two happy hours on the road. Again, those are six events over a five month span. Mm-hmm. So I put my focus on those events. So, so those nights, regardless of what's going on in my life, I had to dedicate those nights yeah. to that. As my script. When it comes to music, so I, put, I haven't done who that since last August, just because of time. But if let's just say someone come out right now and drop an album or drop a song, I would find the time to do who that and do the interview. I'm like, Shadi just dropped a song last week with Adria. Um, he dropping his album, I think next year, Imperial. Um, I, I want to interview Sher, because Sher is really dope. Um, but then, so the who that is probably the one thing that's going to end up like going to the bottom of the pile, because I still have the time to do it. Right. You know, but I actually, because, but then April makes 10 years. So I have to like do something. I have to like enshrine that. Because, you know, who else been doing this for 10 years? No one else but me in 10 years. You know? So, <laughs> you know? Because uh, cause next year does make 10 years for those guys, um, for 10 to 10 years. And then, so this year made 10 years for me covering sports like officially, and next year makes 10 years for my podcast. So other than that, like I um, I treat um, events like I scouting. So like so so far sound, stuff like that. Um, I go out to see, because after doing seven years of interviewing everybody, like, it, it's, and no disrespect to nobody, but People come out to interviews and be like, but you only have one song. Like, I used to interview on people who have catalogs. Um, like, no, I was say I didn't get interviews with Ronnie Butler. I remember some people like like D Mark and Avi and I'm like these people, you know, like so you have one song which is cool. Now some people love meet the um like, some people like a oh, viral song and yeah, like I had interviewed them and thing, but I got to the point where I exhausted again, like eight years worth of interviews, like yeah. you see them really so small. Yeah. You know, the creative community is so small. So I took a so I took a break and said, let me just see who emerges. So like the last year I've heard some artists who they were really telling their story. And then some and then some artists who don't actually make music, they just cover songs. So it's like that's like a two minute that's like a so the whole point of who that was to give artists a platform longer than to three minutes they get on the radio. Oh, yeah. You know? But now if you only have enough to talk about for three minutes on the radio, I ain't really f- enough. Enough, yeah, you know. Like, that ain't dying, but just four, you know. So I mean, like, so and other than that, and the various things. Like, so other than that, I'm a social media influencer, ambassador, so brands pay me to market their stuff. So like right now, I have a deal with Nemera Fortga, um, and I used to post like twice a month. Um, last time was our launch party to Fort Charlotte. Um, I have a deal with Rev. As you know, Rev is the home of sports. Mm. So I I do two interviews a month. My first one was with John Quell. Um, I saw on Charlotte, like like, like so um. You, Byron, Byron is the first ever professional volleyball player, Bayman. Um, uh, I should get one of Todd them from Tom Blink. So my, um, I might try um, Link Buddy, because he playing in Miami in December, but then I don't know if he gets because he wants to trade. He wants, not really he wants to trade. He wants to start, make the playoffs, 
and get an extension. That didn't happen in, in, yeah. in Indiana. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot. He could make the playoffs, <laughs> but he ain't starting. starting. And then mm-hmm. what they offer him for the extension is a, a bit low. So they might wait to February. Yeah. Um. So if they wait to February, they'll probably go over in December to, to link buddy. But yeah, it's just it's really like you say, time management. So it's fifty two weeks in the year, and um and people think I always help, but my my outs are calculated. I don't go out unless. It's something other than taking my job for ice cream or like going to a movie. I if I out, it's a artist I want to, I want to enjoy or as an artist I want to eventually interview or it's like I go to wine now tomorrow. Like I like to drink, you know. I like you know I like food and alcohol. Yeah. Um. And also I'm a, I'm a live ambassador. Alive as a sponsor for wine and art, so that's also included in my contract. So I a lot of my th- a lot of my interests kind of overlap. Like last summer I was a ambassador for Analog Sportsbook and Hennessy. Both of them hosted the NBA Finals, so okay. I was getting two checks at the same time. So, so, my, so my, so I think I have you ask the question. A lot of people don't do is they, even though their interests, they 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 do five or six different things and they don't overlap. They don't try to match it. I and I don't even try. I like sports most of it. I like basketball, music, art, and film. Most times, two or three of those things interconnect some way somehow. Yeah. I don't accept <clears throat> brand part, sponsor partnerships from things that don't. So, for instance, Work with Rev it, is you know. internet. Um, they sponsor cultural events. <laughs> Rev is a uh, home of sports, so that's done. Technology. I watch TV. That's Rev. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I watch basketball. That's Rev. Um, they sponsor cultural events. That's the culture. That's the music. You know, like, why not? I'm gonna see a couple of artists um, playing. So again, I try to make sure. They all, because um, it, it would be hell trying to do this one thing, take off this hat, and then go over there. You know, it's, it's exhausting. Mm. Yeah, so I guess what you're saying is that you're pretty selective, and with that selectiveness, you know, all these keeps your face in the media somehow, right. and, some and way. People, and it's not, as, it's not even that calculated. It's literally a mentor told me in 2013, I used to work with Volume Music, music Bar. Shout out to Rob Kelly. Um, he, he told me that, you know, if you're thinking social media, make make sure every day you post something in regards to what you want. I've never came out. I mean, I have when people start to ask me, but I've never came out and said like, because Twitter. I started using Twitter 2013. I never said, hey, I like basketball, music, on film. I haven't actually said that. But mm-hmm. my social media, I only post basketball, movies, film, and art. And so after posting those things every day, so this is 2013 now, right? Every mm-hmm. day for two years. <clears throat> Because my, my career didn't really pop off to like 16, 17 when I got to cover E-Life or when I won the awards for, for who that. So for four years straight, the only thing I ever posted was basketball, music, film, basketball, music, film. And that's all these posts. I never say, hi, hi, I'm telling me I like these things. But so eventually you build up that, yeah, actually, if people see you or if they go to a basketball event, if you go to Battle for you see me sitting down there. If you go to a circle concert, I'm on the stage. If you go to a rap concert, I, you, 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 you you, it's you associate it's, it's also, right it's also yeah. subliminal. you associate <clears throat> my face with these events then these brands be like okay you could use that <laughs> I want this but you be there so it's not like I'm being selective I, mm-hmm. I'm being selective of what I share about myself and that in turn causes the people to be like he like this thing I could get the money for that so that's that's not it's more so calculated in that sense not where I picky I only share certain things so you're not gonna you're not gonna approach me to market say um Locks. I said my hairline receding. You know, like you're not gonna <laughs> approach me for 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 for, for dread care. Yeah. I can't, I'm not gonna grow locks. I, my hairline is hair, guys. It's just why I boil my head. You know. So like again. So you um you have to market yourself in that way. And then, and then even that um that heart is just that be true to yourself. I don't post football. I have a whole basketball chat with other dudes who like football, and I only ask like one question a year. Yeah. About because like, like comparing like salary gap and stuff, but. Mm. No one to approach me and say, Timmy, I want you to host a football podcast. Because you know I don't care. <laughs> Not that I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, like, nice. And again, I work for this Miami Sports sports Network, and they also cover the Dolphins. So I know enough about two and thing from reading the chat. I don't give a damn. So specifically Dolphins. Yeah, you know, right. Like, I know Dolphin stuff because, yeah. again, it's the same team covering all the Miami sports. They mm. do hockey, hockey, baseball, the soft, the messy stuff. They do all that. And all Florida sports. So again, I'm in a group chat. So I see, but I, I read it, but I don't care. So the basketball chat, <laughs> meanwhile, I in there sending you and Andy. Jam, sweet, sweet, yeah. right? we, talk, we, no, we, we get deep. We talk about two way contract figures, how much games they could make this year. Like we, we in there. Like I, I could break down the salary cap to you. I, I got that. But football, man, okay, you know. Yeah. So it seems like 
most of the stuff comes to you naturally and i want to go back to where you were talking about i'll be with limited catalogs you don't really want to dive mm. into that so what i want to ask is like since you already see them like you already know what approach to take what approach you feel like they should take to grow their catalogs and to just enhance so, the market i'm a soca <clears throat> fan right we, we, uh, and i don't know if y'all how much y'all into soca right but y'all probably is here like two or three marshall montana songs every year just just two new ones right yeah mm-hmm. do you know how much songs you think marshall is drop a year a season probably like 12. how much do you think marshall is drop a season it might be 20. <laughs> marshall has dropped 22 songs a season now he dropped 22, but only three get hit. And that's the point. Bahamians just put all their heart and soul and body and, and blood into one, yeah. one song yeah. and do all that for that one song. And then be like, oh, no one don't like me. No this, way. This may be that's it. my baby. The, 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 the name <laughs> of the game is content. You have to put out content. You have to continuously put out music over and over. And, and, and I understand why they know it, there is no industry. So it's very difficult to devote that much time, money, and resources into multiple music. Whereas you could, you go write a song, you get a mix and master, you go file off your publishing, you go do the radio run for each song. Yeah. It's difficult. That's why you drop a project and do the, you know, like I sure plenty of artists getting paid the day for one and because they they have like three sessions of bands, but you have to put up music. So, but then you have to decide the type of artist you want to be. Because one of the girls I, I wanted to interview, she's like, I ain't gonna lie, music. She has a great voice. But she isn't actively making music. She just does covers, and it's fine. But that's the interesting. So it's not like she's a t- she's a talented person, but she's not really an artist. She's a mm. she's, she's, a, perform- she's yeah. a performer. Yeah. She's a performer, right? And who that is in a performance mm. show? Who that is an artist Creating show? Art, so yeah. so it's not like I excluding who that has a specific focus. It was made for artists to tell their story. I mean, I, I think I have like a bunch of episodes, and I learned so much. Like I don't think y'all know. Do you know who wrote? Um, Ghost Move for Abby? No. D-Mac. D-Mac wrote Ghost Move for Abby. D-Mac wasn't supposed to be artist. <coughs> D-Mac's brother died. And D-Mac was like, well, oh, I ain't got nothing to write for. I might as well go do singing myself. And now D-Mac is regarded as the GOAT. D-Mac wrote Ghost Move for Abby. Like, two, of the great, two of the greatest and most known songs is Ghost Move and Garden. And but both of them are D-Mac. the same person. You know, so like certain stories with like Dyson was a backup dancer for the Rest and Rest in Peace. Yep. Like there's so much, so many interesting stories between the art. Like, and again, when you go on the radio runs, because the radio is very structured, you only have five minutes to hire up six you want to say, yeah. and get out. And get out there. Because that, that you, you're not paying like $100 for that, for that, for that one time. $100, maybe $200. I got it. And you just when it's coming from out the studio and paying all your money for your masters. <laughs> yeah, so, and so you, you don't learn that. And I think you you connect. I mean, this is, and shout out to, um. so one big thing I missed was, and I guess it is a very important part. 2013, me and my ex broke up. Yeah, <laughs> me and my ex broke up, and I was like, well, what I could do? So definitely was the same dropped. And I listened to the album for like two weeks. And then Jay Complex, uh, my artist at the time, he begged me to manage him. I was like, well, I don't know, I ain't got no gal. Uh, I bought the job at the COB. So two things happened at the same time. I started working for Sports Radio. 103.5, it used to be, that's what Sebastian buy for the beat. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I looked at 103.5, and I don't know if you know Moses Johnson. Yeah. Moses is a, well, he was a, he's an assistant coach for the national team. Okay. Yeah. Me and Moses had a show from four to seven <laughs> called Talking Sports. So we just talked about sports, talking sports. So that was happening at the same time as managing the artists. I got Jacob Lex to work at the same studio as an engineer. So I talk in sports with my artist. He worked on the album. Mm. Since he worked on his album, um, he also was in bass. Bass is Travis Bow and Scully and Shadi and Tico. So all this time, all this music happening, you know, you know why and G's store, right? Yeah. yeah. Before Y and G, so <clears throat> one of the ones why I mean I don't want I ain't call the same one of the ones Y and G brother was an artist as well. So we made all those projects in the, ba- not the basement, cause this is not New York, in the back room <laughs> of YMG. Yeah. So, the, so keep in mind that, I sports, in COB, sports radio, talking sports, with the eventual now, let's just go to the national team. I'm making music with this, I basically a and r and exactly producing this rap album um, for J Complex. And this is all about almost the time for so much things happened. 2013 is very important. That's why people say, why you do all these pictures for your birthday? Because 2013 <laughs> is the reason why you don't know who I am. Yeah. Mm. So again, my ex broke with me. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. But you know, you know why I laugh. <laughs> broke with me. 
So I'm managing the artists, uh, working as far as radio, Shake and Black, bass, and Mick, Amo, Ashley Stanley, and her mates are like, hey, you work at a radio station. We do journalism. We want to do radio. So then my boss is like, hey, you all come and make a show called College Talk on Saturday. So we had College Talk. It's first video, and this is McDonald's, close to McDonald's, Palmdale, and College Talk ended up being So Your Amigos Media. I remember mm -hmm. that. For sure. And then 2014 the happened where Ashley, y'all would, would know her as um, Baby Beauty, or what other thing I'm a soda cunning man, but y'all know, know yeah, Ashley right. as the, 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 food, the, food, yeah. the food TikTok girl. Yeah. Okay, Ashley was one of the shoes, but Ashley had done the shoes. So Timmy said, Timmy, go make, a, go make a podcast. I was like, uh, I mean, I don't really want to. Again, I talk, I talk, I talk fast. I really hated my voice, but it's like, fuck it, I can't. I can't. It'd be Sorry. like, it'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, but Sorry. do you want? Sorry. You're good. Yeah, I tied it right, I tied it right in. So, she, she, um, Gizzy, James, Cake and Black. So my artists had this idea of, and I used to like read and watch um, Rap Radar and stuff. I like to see like the document of the process. So the owner of Rap Radar, Elliot Wilson, he's called him YN, Yellow, Yellow Nigga. He had this thing called Crown, C W R N, where he basically would just have a, as an artist, release an album, have a big stage, and do the interview. So I kind of pulled from Crown, and I pulled from James's idea, and that's how who that came to be. My first um, guest was Adria, because she had just dropped Amarado, breakdowns on the radio for a full year. That was the only, that was like, I think the longest running RB song in Nassau on the radio, breakdowns on the radio for a full year. So I was managing Adria, I was managing James. But it was on the holiday soul. And then Travis Will dropped Oh Lord. And Travis was I remember that. Travis was being managed by Mick, as you know, who also was a part of Trio's Trio Amigos Media and College Talk. And then that summer we used to perform Oh Lord everywhere. So so all that and then after that we was like, okay, we need to manage artists tomorrow. We can start doing um photo video services, blah blah blah. And I just want to say that then led me to linking up with 10th year seniors because I was doing sports, but I left sports radio. And then me and Amo was doing sports with Three Migos Media, but then Amo would get hired to ZNS. So he was straight because he worked for a media house. I still, so I, I used to get like media bosses with Three Migos Media, then I took 10th year seniors, and I added some like culture stuff to the side, like because I was a big soccer fan and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I left, I mean, I didn't leave. I mean, we used to be cool. Like, I'm not officially about the seniors, but I just saw them at the Hennessy thing like two days ago. So I left 10th year seniors because I, my, my job jobs, Started selling me to these other events like P PTC Collect. So I was like, I just be there anyway. Right. And then in 27, then the end of 2016, I got the magazine cover for Elife. It was me, Anika, Theo, and Nakia. Yeah, so Theo, Theo is a great photographer. He's a photographer for NASA who still take pictures and film. Mm. He just had an art show at Ping Palms last week, Thursday. But again, as a daddy, I had to go pick up from school so I couldn't make, make the show. And then after this, so then all, all this happened now, uh, I broke. Keep in mind, all these things I talk about, I'm making no money. I drive an old Toyota to sell, you know? I got a, me, me and Amo sharing Mighty Wings at the McDonald's. Mighty Wings, <laughs> mighty, buddy. Them salty, <laughs> them salty Mighty Wings. Um, and hey, then, I, and then I, won all, I won the awards. Um, like I won two awards. I won Vlog of the Year twice for Who That. I won uh, Youth Entrepreneurship Award for Dream Makers Media. And I won Papa's Press Awards for my social media page. Who's calling me? I don't know who that is. Um, so from then all that happened and then boom, Fusion hired me. And then, so when I was working with Fusion, I put all my heart, body, mind, and soul into Fusion. Mm. Cause I had to make some money. Yeah, and also, you know, I was like, marketing manager, like, who would have thought? Like I went to school for CIS and then failed. And then I used to journalism and it's like, I could drop out. And now I'm a marketing manager for movies? Yeah. For the biggest IMAX in this side of the world. There's only one IMAX in this region as big as our one. So Fusion is, I think, Fusion is 80, yeah, 80 by 55. And then New York is like 57. But we have a, like, we have a, the like, people don't take for granted. Oh, I'm actually, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's a monster. <laughs> like people is like the, the, the guy, um, I can't, I, he could kill me, but the Bahamian who is a son actor in Black Panther, he came to Fusion, he's like, hey, oh my God, I, I live in Atlanta and we don't have um, mm. something like this in Atlanta. Um, and then, but then after all this working and working, Cable Palms approached me and was like, hey, we can put that on TV. I was like, me? So I did like a special 10 episode uh, cut of Who That, right? Mm -hmm. And then people, people grab me and oh, Timmy, I didn't know you used to do this. I was like, this is 2018. I've been doing the show for four years. <laughs> so, but that shows you how people still watch TV and read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. people, people say, oh, congrats on your show. I was like, no show. 
was like, oh, I think at this point, yeah, I, was, that, I was so yeah. caught up in fusion. I was like, I cut, I shoot the episodes quick, class and hurry. I just gave him mamas. And I was like, okay, because at this point, I, I didn't, I felt like I didn't reach, I didn't do enough as I could do for this one show. Because I already, yeah, I, I posted up the show. And I get the call. I, I literally go in the food store. I literally go in the food store and say, um, hey, what happened to your show? At the time I ain't there and singlet and, and, and hot boy shorts. Hey, what happened to who that? It's like, oh, I mean, yeah, come by. I, I, I kid you not, I've been to the food store. And that food store, I've been to the gas station, the pumping gas. And this rapper literally started rapping for me. Say, like, but I like your show. And it, it became a thing. People aspire to the beyond. I was like, I, I, Gold movement. My, yeah. what? Like, I only doing it, I, I ain't like, like, my first 10 episodes, you will realize, are people who I actually know, like my boys, who's rap. So mm -hmm. like the whole point of where this is supposed to be just for them. And then people say, like, well, go interview like Sosa and Sami and MDs, rest in peace. And all these people was like, yeah, but they ain't on me. And then I finally interview them. <clears throat> oh, I, I was waiting for you to put me on the show. I was like, <laughs> oh, what's I was like, I walk in the studio. I, 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 like I walk in the studio, mm -hmm. likes them. Hey, hey, I said, I know who you is. I was waiting for you to call me. Who you think you is interviewing all this and you ask? I said, oh, sorry, sir. Hey, you interviewing all these people you ain't got. These nobodies, because again, k k k so, people, it's always this debate. Bahamian music, music is only music, Ricky Strape, Calypso, whatever. But I believe if it's made by Bahamian, that's a Bahamian music. So it's always the subculture. I, so I started out when you really focusing on people who, to this day, people don't really care about the rappers, the rockers, mm -hmm. the, the R&B, the neo soul, like the jazz, like, I, my whole point of that was for them. But I realized I had also to be like, but yeah, I ain't gonna make no money if I only focus on them because they ain't got no money either. What? So then I started, you know, interviewing the, the legends and then there's over this whole couple bunch of doors and I was like, wait, wow, I guess. So, but every time I'd be like, but I guess he's making no money, you know, I'll watch this again. Social media would blind you. Like you would see five likes or you would see like a hundred views. But in person, like I tell people say, yeah, baby, watch yeah, that. I'm like, how? 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 What you mean? <laughs> But the thing is, the, the thing saying a hundred. I don't so worry about I, it. Talking to like so, a thousand. So I, I had to realize. <laughs> I, and people ask my voice how it's just persevere by F the numbers. Really? Like, just put it out there. It get, people can see it. People can see people talking and about it. I, I think that's the main thing to take away from what's happening today because everything that you have said is it can be boiled down to you doing what you like, focusing on who you are as a person, and just not stopping doing that. Right. And trust me, it was hot. I mean, it, 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 it was the Lord. So like every time I would say I ain't do this no more, I tell you a random stranger would come in the food store yep. or the gas station to the party. He's like, "Boy, yeah." So that thing when you, I probably and what happened now is someone can come to me more and say, "Hey, so when who's that coming back?" I'm like, "Shit, I can't run from it." You know, um, it's sound like your identity now. Um, sound like a call in the meeting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I uh, know. Yeah, keep so trying to run away. But, from but it. like people have the opinion, and it's it's not it's hard, but it's not difficult because consistency is hard. Doing things when you just doing things when you don't feel like doing it because you could anyone could create content when they feel like it. It's creating content when you don't feel, feel like. like it. And again, and child Diane, see, like she did some. You don't you can't give from an empty cup. So if you like really depressed and yeah, you can't go make the content because it, it can show in your content. Yeah. But if you have a goal like you know, or you could batch your content like you might be down today, but tomorrow you feel amazing. Not good seven videos like you know like you gotta you gotta get the content out. Yeah. And your network. Is stronger. Yeah, and, 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 and that is because again, I've I, people is coming to job man. I've worked eight jobs in eight years. Yeah, you know, for various reasons, nothing to do with me. You know, people just broke. You know, so <laughs> and, and and all the jobs I've worked in has been you know social media or like marketing, and those positions are usually very close to like the chiefs of a company. So right. yeah, you have to be in positions where you meet other chiefs and other managers. Of course, and then not so only so big, right? Especially the marketing like community. So. I used this person who used to work with the Atos, now works to Rubis. Right. So yeah. now I have connections. So that one, so my six months at Atos build connections with me at at Atos, Rubis, back to Club Brewery where he worked, back to um, Alive. So like, and I went to work to Fusion, and I have a connection. Because of Fusion, I now have a connection to them, well, Water and Sewage, Eyewitness News, Another freelancer, and then I my BTC connections have me like all over the world because I because of because of BTC I made the connection with the NBA. And that's how come I have I could say hey I want to cover an NBA game with a Bahamian. And I just send an email, so like you just have to build connections on connections on connections on connections, and it never stops. But you know, you have to also maintain them too. Like and you don't just talk to people when you need them. Yeah. Like hey, how's the kids? How's your family? You know, like like for instance, yeah. okay, 2016, um, BTC had a situation with Bahamian trying to. Deal with so they sent me my boy Ross to cover them. Boom, I had that by email. 2018, I was working 
2018, 2018, my child born, 2017, 2018, I was working at Fusion, right? But Fusion didn't open yet. So Fusion opened Thanksgiving 2018. I started working at Fusion in February. So you, I had kind of free time. I was working, but it wasn't yeah, open. It so mean. July, so I said, hey, I think I should go cover the games. I go on my email. I don't know if you remember me, but again, it's he only talked like maybe 10 by So of course you don't remember me 10 by right. So I don't know if you remember me. How's your wife and kids? Um, yeah, man. So he, he got my he got my uh um pass and I emailed collect. I was like, hey, I go on to cover this draft. And you should pay if you want your logo on this uh video, pay for my room. My room's like six something. So he paid for my room. I put collect on the video, boom. And then so 2021 during COVID for Kai draft. Um, the buy number changed. So he was working for the NBA at that point. Um, shout out to Julio. His name is Julio Mantiega. He now went to the NBA, promoted him from the NBA. Because see, so he was the charge of Latin America communications. He now works for retired players who comes under the Hall of Fame. Mm. So I so I had to go. So I said, I remember. The, so his number, his number and his email changed because it was no longer at NBA. So I had to go and go on LinkedIn. I, and because because wow. I had to Google his name, <laughs> but because we don't have no connections, I right. couldn't DM him. Right. So I had to pay for LinkedIn Premium. So, hey, Julio, I know if you remember me. <laughs> Keep in mind, it's been three years since the draft yeah. was COVID. I said, hey, hope you remember me. Just, I'm just reaching out. Um, I hope you and your family are doing COVID. So, and he answered me like in two seconds. Hey, I remember you. Hey, um, so yeah, I'm no longer with the NBA. I'm with um, the Hall of Fame now. And, um, but here's the person who is now in control, in control of uh, Latin America. Boom. And now I, that's the dude I talk to now. That's how I was able to cover Kai Jones' first game in Miami. Um, that was last. That was Halloween. Wow, time is fast, fast and fast. That was Halloween 2021. <laughs> So what happens when you send your favorite sports social media blog over to cover the Miami Heat game for the weekend? Let's check it out. Yo, so we just landed in Miami. Me, Big Timo. This is my first time in Miami in two, in two years. They say I ain't used to this. I ain't used to this. It's been a long time, but boys in the city. Going to be a long weekend. We're going to make it happen. Kai Jones, Miami Heat, FTX Stadium. And it's Halloween weekend, so we don't know what we want to get into. Movie we'll done. And then last year, I was yes. able to cover Aiden in Miami. That was Mar March 2020. No. Yeah, March 2022. And I covered uh, Kai again in April 2022. And I was able to. With the 19th pick in the 2021 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Kai Jones, Nassau, Bahamas. Kai, four years. I bet you four years ago, I bet you everything. NBA player, professional player. How do you feel right now? Hey man, I feel amazing. I put in a lot of work, a lot of hours, a lot of self-belief. Proving a lot of people wrong, but I'm blessed beyond it all, man. You went through one chapter that was an amateur chapter, then you became a professional athlete. I personally, selfishly happy you go to Charlotte so I can fly the game so I can be there in Charlotte. I asked your uncle, I don't think Jordan know the type of energy you bring in as a Bahamian and your family, your family is love. How does it feel to pay for, to basically the coach? You know, you can hit him. It's going to be super dope, man. I sure you got a lot of things you can teach me and I'm sure they run the organization the right way. So I'm excited. It's heading the right direction. Again, Hennessy is sponsored that trip because again, Hennessy is the official spirit of the NBA. Mm -hmm. I used to work at Cummins Brewery. So I know the people at Cummins Brewery, I say, hey, I go into this game, give me money for my trip, for my cameraman, my flight, my room. Boom, money hit. I gone. Nice video. So you have to, and again, we don't. I don't only talk to them when I need them. Yeah. And then it came back to where three months after that, she called me again and said, "Hey, and let me work on. Let me help, help come host them. Be finance with me. And that's some good money in my pocket. So you have to make the connections and keep them. It's networking at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, and also people, I have a PhD in peopling. Like that's such a, I, 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 I people, I people very well. So Doctor Tame. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I people very. <laughs> well. some, some people, like, to my boy, I'm almost not a, a people. -er. I'm all good. You're on the news, man. Yeah, exactly. But I'm all, don't mind that. I'm all the people. I'm all the people. I'm all. I'm all is one of the most socially awkward people you can meet if you're talking about sports. So like, mm. you know, so like, but his gift is he could like I can't do I. I, I it's what somebody that you meant. If at the end about sports, film, or whatever, I can't help it no more. I can't help it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I get, <laughs> I can fail. I could be up there, 
bumbling and grumbling. He could do it. He, he don't care. He could do it. So that's his gift. My gift is like ice people. Ice mm. people. So based on all you've done, can you give us, let's just say, your top interview from music, top mm-hmm. interview from sports, and then just a third throwaway favorite? Throwaway favorite. Because that could be from anywhere. Yeah, really Keep in mind, you asked me for, t- for 10 years. I, I got to go on YouTube, sir. <laughs> That's 10 years. Wow. <laughs> catalog. Hi, sir. Wow. Hi, sir. Wow. <laughs> wow. You should not be going on YouTube. So my basketball is probably going to always be buddies because, keep in mind now, I'm an intern at BTC. Buddy, you you want to recruit them while you watch it, but so off, you know, yeah, so talk to me what you learned your sophomore year. You might you, you use a leader the night. You, Fox, Justin Jackson, Scal, um, just uh, you was a sophomore, but you still a leader the team. Uh, I just, just got to go out there and just work hard and grind, you know, just... You know, we got a lot of vets coming, Zach Randolph, George Hill, so we just gonna go there and just take it day by day and just learn from them, but uh, you know, still bring a leadership approach to the to the game and uh let's show the vet like you know I wanna go there and have fun and uh also I'm just if you wanna lead you gotta be a willing leader to listen to the vets that uh, you know, who already been in the league for so long, ten plus years. So uh just going there listening and uh coming to the right approach and just learning uh I'm an intern at BTC, an intern. Mm, yeah. No, no degree or nothing. I have experience. I got a degree. I get asked to go to the NBA draft to go interview the first payment to get drafted since nineteen. So, but he got drafted twenty sixteen. Sweet best was nineteen eighty. So thirty sixty. Yeah, that's the first payment to get drafted. Since. I only thirty two. So that's four years before I was born. That is crazy. No, he's stupid. No, that's thirty six. Yeah. Nope. I ain't even going. Like, like, I, I, <laughs> I know. I know. Because I born nineteen ninety one, and he. Uh, that's like forty six years. I, I don't do math. Yeah, no. See, no, <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to say it. You got Jason on there last week. I, I, I ain't going to look dumb. I ain't going to look dumb. I'm not going to look dumb with this podcast and make Sock look bad. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. What is this? I was like, I trust it. Mm-mm. Off the wall of that. Uh, I usually good at maths, but, but y'all, uh-uh. Don't look at Mm-mm. me for maths. If I ain't got my Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I still try to break down 23 d and so much going on just now. <laughs> so, oh, so I was right. It was 36 years. Okay, cool. Whew. So I was stupid just now. So, <laughs> so at that point, it was 36 years. But yes, I wasn't 32 yet. I'm 32 now. Anyway, so at that point, it would have been 36 years since the Bayman got drafted. I was there. I was able to witness that and cover that. And it's somewhere on YouTube. I mean, they took it off YouTube. But I have it on my, what, my IG. No, because I mean, new, new, new owners, they hide all the old posts or whatever. And I guess, oh, yeah, you know, so yeah. I, have, but I, have, I have that saved and documented because, wait, what? So, but um, music, probably as MD is read because when people look back on MD's life, I probably have one of the longest interviews online with them. So at least you were able to, to talk to hear about MDs of how much and MDs was like this close like because I, I, we have um Jamaican heritage too, um he was like about to go to a big Jamaican um reggae festival he would have been the first behemoth to perform there so like, MDs was like this close to making the dread, um and random throwaway. Probably Mark Spears, uh so Mark Spears is a veteran ESPN writer black, he um, I remember. he. So when Aiden got drafted, he actually came down. So it's Tim May, we still here at um, Jeff Rogers, 31st annual celebrity weekend, and y'all know I love basketball, and um, I started my really, my come up on Twitter, and from Twitter I've been following this man for what I'm saying, yes, now Mark, Mark Spears. So talk to me about how you like, like my island, my, my country. Yes. Hey man, this, this guy is big time right here, man. <laughs> um, he, he probably, you probably don't know me, I work for ESPN, but. You know, just, just ESPN. Yeah, but this guy right here, man, I saw him, at the draft, chronicling his brother. Uh, so I'm excited to be here in the Bahamas. I've been here once before, but I, I was told it didn't count mm-hmm. because I was on a cruise ship. Yeah, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. So this is my real official visit. I try to introduce ESPN, myself. Right? I think so. Yeah. I, I, he's, he's beyond on MA Today with, with Woj and That's Manita. what it is, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah um, he's from New Orleans, um, bright skin, um, ball leg glasses. Like, he's a dope, dope, dope. He's been on ASPN long. Yeah. So I went to go check, I said, introduce myself. I said, but I know who you was. I saw you at Buddy Draft, Aiden Draft. So Buddy was 2016, Aiden was 2018. And then when Aiden came for um, Jeff Rogers, um, so now, you know, it used to be undefeated. So I called Onscape. So under the field, it was ESPN's block arm. Like they focus on urban stories. Oh. So, so under the field had just launched in 2018, and he made eight months of his story. So he came down. Um, he's and he had just had like knee surgery, so he's staying in the Bahama, and he's like, "Wait, because he used to 
when they travel, you know, we, our, our dollars, dollars, dollar. He used to go in the U.S. the Caribbean, and this his hundred dollar U.S. could stretch. stretch. <laughs> but he said, you know, and Obama, no, yeah, no, Obama, you know, too, like, but I want some food, but I don't want to eat this. Uh, he asked me, and he could, like I said, he this first time here, he limping, so I took him to poop deck, and I reach up it up, and then he, I interviewed him at Jeff Rogers where the Andrew Aiden was there, but. I joined Twitter in 2009. He was, the, he was one of the first uh, reporters who I put on like, notifications because, like, again, black, um, breaking news, et cetera, et cetera. And the dude would tell me, I got introduced to him and said, but I know who you was. You're the bohemian who been to both, both the last draft. I was like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no notoriety, my guy. Yeah, that, was, that was crazy. And, and it just shows you how, how small each subculture is. Like, once you just know one person, yeah. like, like, so that, like, technically, I am... One person away from knowing Pat Riley, because You're he's, he's a school nigga who wants five reason sports. <laughs> yeah. Like he knows, like Pat Riley's listening to our podcast, but like he probably don't. And, and I'm the only one who in who in America. So he probably like this thing with Pat Riley probably has heard my voice on the podcast like with the heat before. That's yeah, he I'm familiar with it. Like if you if you just happen to be in Miami covering the game and he hear the people's voices, like. <laughs> That's yeah, the yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah like that's easy. He's like, he's like, I was waiting on you, man. When you when you sit down with the with the Godfather, <laughs> you know, so that's that's crazy to me. Just just you know, like once you you just just you meet one person in the industry, it opens up all the doors. Now the issue is of course meeting that person. And being like, even the, like the like the like the, the white gal who with the stupid humor, Bobby Affle, whatever. Like, oh she, yeah, yeah. She texts someone <laughs> yeah. who know Drake. I remember who that. DM Drake and then Drake said, like you gotta pay me, but you know it's just we are always like one person away from you know. So if you know what you want, just just grind at it. It's true, but it is it is hard. <laughs> But it's not difficult. If that makes sense. I mean, it can be hard on fun if you want it to yeah, be fun. Yeah, just saying, people make it. And that's why people make it difficult. It's only difficult if you, if you and it's like do people is um, they help on waves. They see something look good, they they go and start podcast. But you still, people, not everyone's supposed to do a podcast. Yeah. Everyone's mm-hmm. supposed to be a cameraman. Now, do it because you want you to, do it. and you like it. Don't do it because you like how it look or you you want. The notoriety you think it brings because you can realize when things get tough, when when B, when BPL cut off doing the interview <laughs> and we in here sweating trying to make a deadline, yeah, you'll be just like effort and go, and that's a week your best content. But that could have been a week. A sponsor see y'all and give, sponsor y'all, so you have to be able to because the passion is what take you through the hard times. So anyway, I I I've, I have I didn't make a dollar. I have no, I didn't make a dollar from sports until last year. I've been doing sports since twenty thirteen. I haven't made a, a dollar from covering sports until twenty twenty two. Nine wow. years. What was the first dollar from? I did it from Hennessy. From okay. Hen- from, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hennessy okay. decided to uh, sponsor the trip. Let me say, make, no, I can't say that because I didn't make it. I just paid for it. But it, it was also Hennessy paying me to cover, to host the basketball game. Okay. To host the, at the finals. That was the first time I've made someone put money in my hand for doing what I do around sports. Nine years. You know, so people would be like, oh, I, well, then you in it. I wasn't, and I wasn't doing it. I do it because I, I honestly enjoy yeah. basketball. Yeah. I'm knowledgeable enough where I can hold my own. But I wasn't doing it. For, if I was doing it for a dollar, I would have never started. Exactly, because after nine years, you were making a dollar for nine years. Yeah. Dollar? You were there, like, not covering games. Yeah, because I like it, but like, love it, don't pay the bills. Okay, it. Well, what else you want me to do at this <laughs> point? Like, what? <laughs> Ain't nothing better to do. But And then people, people is, is, is shit on us as, a, as like, like us, like creators, right? But we are a young country. 50 years old, you realize that in the States and anywhere else, this industry is like the, the biggest thing. Like we should be make, you, 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 we shouldn't have jobs. We shouldn't have day jobs. We should be able to make money of a creating content. But again, the country is too small. Look, look, look at Trini. <laughs> Trini have a million people. Yeah. And yeah. you know, this is saying 10%, 10, 10% of the population usually is what would fund something, right? So 10% of, of a million is a million is a hundred thousand. The saying is an artist only needs a thousand real fans to survive. That's true. So <laughs> we have whatever number one because the actual census is 400 gay. 400 people, based on the formula, there are only 400 people in the country. We know it's one that, but they say it's only 400 people based on the formula who really care about the arts. Mm-hmm. No artist could sustain it for 400, 400 artists. But like there is this, and it's been proven, and a lot of artists have been trying to, um, and shout out to Shadi, they say Shadi said his, his goal is, and it's, I think it's a realistic goal, um, he wants to get a thousand true fans. If a thousand people buy his album, that's a success. The album drops, I think, April, so he, the pre-order went last week, went up last week, so a thousand people, it might sound like a lot, like it's not a lot, but 
A thousand not dimes. Enough, say you, not enough. Say you, say you sell the album for the old price. $15, right? Times a thousand. That's $50,000. Yeah. And that's, then, how, that's, 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 that's basically what, isn't that minimum wage? Minimum wage is for two fifty now? How much is minimum wage? Yeah, mm, slightly. So let's say it's two fifty. Let's just say it's two fifty. Two fifty a week. It's thirty hundred dollars. That's more than minimum wage. Wow, that's more than minimum wage. If you get a thousand people, it, you know, it could be subscribed to your pod, buy your art. That's so. People just try to aspire for these things. We are a small country. Yeah, but we are mighty. Because a lot of people say, "Why believe him so much?" The first ever. Non-American go number one in the NBA draft was Sweet Bells. The first black man to win the Oscar was Sidney Boyle. Sidney Boyle. Sidney Boyle. Hey, but Sidney was a good actor too. What time? You all can't sell drugs and you want me? Me? You all big America. You can't stop. You all want me? The fact that they even had that footage is crazy, man. Me? You know, like, um, the most gold medals per capita. We have yep. two NBA, two number one overall picks. We, I, we have, um, look at what we, we did in qualifiers. We come actually, people are talking about we could win gold. We're not going to win enough. We're not going to win any medal. But making it to the Olympics is a goddamn achievement. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> For a country that's only, ladies, always remember this. For a country that's only 50 years old, the country itself is younger than I mean, we have less. We have, I, don't, I don't care what the sense to say. <laughs> we have less than 500,000 500, 500, people. That's insane. Yeah. That's insane. You know, and we are, like, my, I have a friend who I'm trying to and he's a coach up in Toronto. The the T on Bahamian athletes is, they might not be, not be, be the most fundamental skills, you know, we have people who six one in basketball and in high school playing Play center. center. <laughs> so they're going to be the best skill. But the one thing they say about us in the world is that we are athletic. Mm-hmm. And we naturally gifted, for you sure. Know? So, like, people know, we know us again. Like, like I said, we have these, uh, Johnny, um, Johnny Camp, rest in peace, just got paid with the top 10. Hey, like, right now, we've been talking about all these songs in the top. So imagine right now, right? The top 10 is currently um, Taylor Swift, um, Ghana, Drake, a couple of people. Imagine in this day and era, a Bahamian just got paid was in that top 10. Like, that's, we, we. That's a beyond up. You know? <laughs> what the up. hell? Top 10, Billboard, this is no little. And, and uh, uh, of course, you, you all realize that there's a, a Grammy is off Kennedy Subdivision. Kennedy Subdivision, which is basically the ghetto, opposite Bamboo, is a Grammy in that building. For you all don't know, Rick Carey and his wife owns Kamala Me Place, and the Grammy is there. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Yes, who like that dog? Somebody be the most annoying song ever, but they won a Grammy for Rugrats. Mm, and, exactly. and it's in Kennedy's Have it Division. Definitely get it, so That's the guy with Drake is be drinking. Um, um, and the same thing on this. It's Grammy, but there's a Grammy. I could walk up right now and go and touch the Grammy. That's insane. Ain't plenty of them. That's insane. They don't go out, they don't go out every year. That's, that's, that's crazy. Little old smallest, and then people just be complaining. You all see what happened to the past in Israel? Like, you're worrying about. Don't worry, wait. Granted now. <laughs> granted. Preface yeah. it. I understand. Pre-face it. Pre-face granted. Pre-face it. <laughs> granted, yeah, BPL is cut off. Yeah, things expensive. But I you could you could you could walk freely. Yeah. You could you could walk we could go catch a plane and go to Miami. Yeah. Strong strong boss. And also like and, and and maybe that's that's why I put things in context, like, yeah, tough. But <sighs> Yeah. It could, it could be race. Yeah. So, given 10, 20 years from now, mm-hmm. where do you see the landscape of all the industries that you are I, I, I in think, love with? I think um, we need that Olympic qualifier um, that will force the government to really like invest more into basketball. Yeah. That baseball stadium took too long. We've been at baseball players. We should have a baseball stadium. And, and the one thing we've always had was we've always had junior leagues. We had JBLN and Freedom Farm. You should have been at that. You know, like, you should have actual, um, and I think Bowls right now is how, like, skills, skill camps for, for basketball. But people should be able to learn actual basketball skills from five. They shouldn't be waiting till late, 13, 14, waiting for a week camp in the summer to learn skills. I mean, it happens. Like, NBA didn't play basketball until he was 14. Mm-hmm. And now he's one of the best in the NBA. But that's, he was also, like... Anomaly, yeah. He's also, like, 6'11". And, yeah. You know, like, so... <laughs> That's once in a million, you know. Imagine if we actually invest, and this is, this is my personal opinion. I think the chief youth sports and culture should be the chief youth, the chief sports, 
Make sure you call Joe. I That's agree. One budget getting split three ways, and something will always. Someone will always take the box seat. You know, so I think we need investment. I mean, and shout out to private. A lot of things wouldn't happen in this country without private sponsorship. Let's work with, with BTC. BTC was a sponsor with Shawnee, and she told she said in an interview, um, the money from them only is paid for our supplements. Literally just a supplement yeah. training, that's all it paid for. Time wow. paying for a trainer. Time paying for a flight. Thank God she's on the dealer, so they probably yeah. paid a big buck. Right. But people say, yes, money is money is important. You can't run from it. We need actual investment. And yeah, the private people can only pay so much, you know? And again, the government, like nine million dollars. I'm so happy we didn't they didn't let FT I mean they disputed, but I'm so happy we didn't let FTX pay <laughs> after that. Yeah. You know, I should have buy the parents and he didn't own the Bahamas. Yeah, we just finished. And they say, you know, the, the owner of the Bahamas now sits in jail. I don't know how that actually get out of me. Like, what was going on, man? Like, nine billion in debt. And, and I watched Berlin, so something like that is, is be so um, intriguing. Yeah. Me. Hey, how you offer that as pay off the debt? Like, what you, what you really into? What you really into? Darkness. Into? <laughs> Darkness. So, I mean, I, I think um, as more, uh, again, we we used to go to Swiss Fishes. We were in the last five swimming grifters, and we were the host of the next one. Like, they yep. hate us, though. They do. They hate us. Just how you know. <laughs> Jamaica on track. I think um, Jamaica has only lost track three times, and twice with us. Jamaica has only lost track three times, ever in grifter. Twice with us. So, they, they could talk their mess there. But swimming, <laughs> maybe these fishes. Yeah. And then we were the host of the game. So, like, Again, swimming is probably a more. Uh, ex- I used to be talking to someone yesterday. Golfing is for the rich, rich and famous. Mm-hmm. Like, um, swimming might be a more expensive hobby than some. So maybe they get the money as well. But like basketball, baseball. For instance, why we have softball in school? I played softball and sack. Why it's not baseball? It's only, only w- 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 there's a professional league for women. Men don't really do that for yeah. softball. So if you have softball, also have baseball. Because as you can see, so you have that that pipeline, the transition. Yeah. We clearly have it. We have like 25 MLB players now. And it just, it just happened in like two years, boom. You know, um, basketball again, basketball is a, is a much wider, much wider pool to fight through. Yeah. But look at what you, you know, and people only look at the NBA. Jimmy, Maki, um, y'all do African love so much. Jimmy used to play for Olympiacos. And for y'all who don't know, who, like Pat Beverly used to play, Patrick Beverly used to play for Olympiacos, like that, like legit NBA players. Jimmy mm-hmm. could say he was in a, in a real league. We have, yeah. um, uh, um, like I know Zan in Israel now, he's trying to get back home and give a flight tomorrow. We have big players, and yeah, Magnum didn't play in the NBA, but Magnum was big in, the, in in Europe. Like, yes, NBA is the best, it was not the only league. We have big time players. You know, and just, it's, just, it's just so, um, I think I, I remember I used to hide when they win the game, and I was like, wait, this is surreal. Like, we really, Argentina was the fourth best team in the world. In the world, I, the only team to, to win a gold medal since any of us have been born was Argentina in the Olympics. Every Olympics has been since 92 has been America, 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 Argentina, America, 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 America. Yeah. America, America, America. And yes, Elian Manu, it, 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 Carlos is still there, but he's 41, but the program has sustained itself program, for yeah, years. Program, yeah. And we come through That's and a brotherhood. bust the hip <laughs> twice in Argentina. Shout out to Eric Gordon, you let me be. <laughs> Shout out to Eric Gordon, like four trees in, in that fourth quarter. He was balling, I ain't gonna lie. He's yeah, balling. So, so yeah. Just, it just takes like actual structure, you know, because right now all these basketball players just, just they just go play ball in school and go play ball on. on we don't have no indoor gym. Yeah, and then, hey, and then come together about for about two weeks and then go play. Because yeah, we always make it new parks, and I'm like, why are you leaning in like, close at I least one? I used to build like a, a, a gym in South Andres, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah. Stuff, that's cool, like, but nah, so in the gym, you know? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, because and then even I think it's when church um Remnant, Remnant, I think Remnant have like an AC court, but if you don't go to that church, you can't just say hey, who? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I just think so. And again, we fifty years old. I can't imagine what we could look like at seventy five. Like, mm-hmm. but again, they have to actually. So for instance, the Miami Heat training camp been happening like every three four years. I heard that the training camp was happening for two thousand two, but every time a government has changed, they just push plans to the back. Have their own agenda. I just also, I just wish that eventually, yeah, like every time government, <laughs> if something makes sense, if it makes sense, keep it. Just, just I don't care if you take credit for it, you know. But if it makes sense, put it's better the country. They need their credit, man. You know, that's all. That's fine. But like, it's also was real to me to be like, wait, Miami Heat training camp here. Mm. I've been too. I, I didn't catch the first one with, with LeBron though. I got the one 2016 after Wade went to Chicago, and I got the one last year. And it's just, it's crazy. But again, the world is so small because of that killing camp. I now know the Bayou runs 
Um, I mean, he social media. Like we, I we like talk like like almost all the time, like yeah. every week. You know, it's crazy. It takes like one, and that's like people's good events, and so be as as be scared and you know, scan up. No. Talk. Talk. <laughs> they human just like you. <laughs> they have the issues we have where we get to spend a, a thousand dollars for, for a bottle of water. But they regular but people. They, but they have their own issues too. Yeah. They yeah, they work for multi million dollar companies, but they are regular, regular people. You know, so just I, I guess we're experiments really like, realize like baby we they look at us like um and not the people who think we live in hot stuff. They look at us like baby we wish we all could could live in without taxes and things Relax. like that. <laughs> they they have they have the just how we envy them, they envy us and then you find a common ground of whatever and, and I said just for the, for the creative industry, you can't be afraid to shoot your shot. Like you have to at worst they can tell you I ain't got the time to talk to you right now. At best they can change your life. At best. Like look look at the gap. At best they change your life. At worst, I I kind of, to okay, and that's a simple gamble to make. Right. <laughs> and they have time, that's cool. Because they, <laughs> they might have time tomorrow. <laughs> they yeah. might have time now. You know, persistence, persistence. And you can't, and, and but you also can't be annoying. Like you can't be like, hey. Um, no, 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 I only act him once. Yeah, that's what yeah. I do. It. Only most famous, we have pride. I, 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 I ain't doing all that. <laughs> I'd be like, on to the next person, right? Yes, maybe. But, but I think the first, the, another industry I didn't really get talked about at all that, that I'm tr- trying to personally get into is like film. So I, I've worked the last two years on um, Go Make Kids. We have some very talented kids like um, JVN. He's, he was inside a Netflix movie. Oh, wow. Um, and um, last year during COVID. That's the, go, no, no. Go Make Kids. What it. movie are you talking about? It's something with a shark. I can't remember. Oh, okay. Name. Um, but last year, Gomez gets one uh, award at Cannes. I don't know Cannes. It's spelled Cannes, so it's Cannes. C A N E S. Cannes in France. Oh yeah. Gomez gets one uh, award. Like what the hell? These I I think they're like eight eight year olds have an award that's in name. Like we have talent, but the issue is the the the, the out of all the industries, I'd say um, the film industry is at the bottom in terms of what it could be. Cause at least with sports, you have avenues for sports. You know, um, with music, you can still go to really you, you could perform. With art, artists, we we live in rich people playground. You can find something to buy your art. Yeah. And film, it is so difficult. This time last week, I was shooting a, I was shooting a, um, we shooting a pilot for a TV show at UB. Simple things that you just don't experience in the states. Like, you reach six o'clock, they forget to open the door. Um, yeah. You gotta go. You gotta fit in all that equipment. Um, you had to yeah. go get, you, had, you had to buy <laughs> breakfast. You had to go, you, had, you know, you, you, you could just, um, usually just Uber Eats a bunch of food. You had to go drive in the sun on the line, pack the food. It's just certain things. It's very difficult to do in the mm. film industry over there. And it takes a lot of money. That too. A lot of money. And I don't I mean, think people know how much money goes into one film. <laughs> yeah. And people trying. Um, like, that's why I, I really like um, A24. Y'all watch Talk To Me. No, no, Stop to me. Are you like horror? No, every now and then. Every now and then. Every now and then. I scared. I scared. <laughs> I scared. <laughs> That's fine, though. That's fine. So, A24, again, I, we get back um, into my film, I went there at Bike. So, when they say majors and minors, majors, it used to be the big six. It used to be Disney, Fox, Warner, Universal, Sony, and Paramount. But Disney bought Fox, that's the big five. Mm. Anything outside of the big five is called uh, you know, uh, indie or a minor studio. So A24 is probably the most prolific my, um, indie studio. And they, and so talk to me, it only cost five million to make. Mm. It made 10 million the first weekend. And oh. the reason why, they, and and people, and I hate how people who don't who don't know terms to say indie, they, they don't know, the, indie don't mean a bad, like a cheap movie, indie means it's more focused on the characters. So you have a set of an ensemble cast of a million of people. Yeah. You focus on really like 10 people. You pay them 10 people and you shoot a lot in one location. So Talk To Me had Australian directors, Australian cast, and shot in Australia. One thing happens with Australia too is that um, when you shoot, that's why I saw a movie shoot in Australia. Once you have a certain amount of cast members, oh my god, oh, you can talk members to me about this movie actually. From <laughs> Australia, you get like a huge tax the, tax break. Yeah. If the if the government of the Bahamas gave, uh, I think it used to be they they stop it. If there was because that exists for other islands too. Mm. If there was a if they if the Bahamas gave tax breaks as an extent to people to shoot movies here. We have a film industry. That's, so that's so even though I say films at the bottom, yeah. it really takes a government to set up something where you shoot your movie in the Bahamas 
and you can focus it on certain, they don't have to be NASA. Yeah. Focus on those islands. If you shoot your movie here, and you involve a certain amount of Bahamian cast, and so my job, I my role is usually first AD. So you have director of photography, first AD is assistant director. All assistant director job is basically um, help the like. So I usually do the the, the it's called the the, the clapper. Yeah. You, know? you 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 um you put what scenes it is. You help carry a camera stuff like that. So my job be like a first first AD. First AD, I could I could if a film industry exists in Nassau, I wouldn't work a job. I would just be a, fi- a first AD, punctured from from set to set. The film, if know. the government decided that they want to go that route, and they put it, they put it where well, if you sh- include a certain amount of payments in your production, not not cast, not people, it's behind here. If you include that, you have to, you have payment food for the craft services. You have to have at least payment PAs, maybe a first a first AD, and then and then you get a big tax break. All the other island nations would suffer. Like what the show name? Um, I don't watch it. The show uh, on the, Netflix. The, sh- I almost say they show it in Barbados, nights. but they try to make it seem like it's the Bahamas. And they had like this weird accent. Oh, oh yeah. Oh god. Right. I know what you mean. I have. I, I, know, I know someone who she had to shoot something in Trinidad and say it was the Bahamas because at least she got a break in Trinidad. What the movie is that? I mean the show. Deep. I think deep something, man. I can't remember. Deep. No, I was about to say Deep Creek. <laughs> what is that? I was about to say Deep Creek. I know what you're talking about though. <laughs> I mean, of course, you've had some movies shoot over here, um, um, like the the James Bond movie, Out of the Banks. Yeah, Out of the Banks, yeah. Jesus Out of the Banks is in South Carolina. Carolina. They say they're in Bahamas, but they're in Barbados, and they're just whack, this whack this I said. Weird boy, accent, boy, boy, like, I didn't even get the season two, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I saw that one trailer, and it's like, in the Bahamas, like, that's not our water. <laughs> our water is very I clear. Water, water. <laughs> I, <want it. laughs> I got three, three seconds into the, into the trailer. I thought I want and I Google, I Google it, you know, and, yeah. and so many stories could be told. Like the story, um, I know they made a movie with the the State Farm voice play, the fake Denzel do it. Um, oh, I know you know. They made a movie yeah. called I'm um, not something of a nation, Fall of a nation, kind of narrating Penland's life. That's like a low budget thing, but um, they didn't shoot it there because why I gotta spend an Omega and also small things. We don't have constant power. Yeah. From my, I think I know, I think I know Craig. I think Craig was on the Craig was on the pod before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craig was like Craig. Um, shout out to Craig is a, is a monster. Craig got the as as foreign contacts be like Craig. Well, why does it take so long with my internet? Says my friend. Power off. Power off. I gotta go drive somewhere to go. You know, it's yeah. very difficult for the, the basic necessities like having power on set. We should go make kids in um in the back of the bush, whereas we have to go carry on this picture. It's just it's just so hard. Yeah. I I, I know like, that, that's the one thing was hard and difficult. Yeah. Shoot the movie <laughs> or TV show now, so it's hard and difficult if it's not inside a, a, a TV studio. But I mean everything has potential. You just have to it takes it takes private. And it takes government. And you don't want some someone. You don't. People even saying, "Tell the Perry save us." No, because you don't know what you own. Someone, <laughs> exactly. and, or someone come to that. You know, but it it it'll, it'll take it takes all. You know, so and anything comes. So I'm not gonna shun Tyler Perry because again, Tyler Perry had a huge studio, so huge. Not that Disney is shooting movies on this lot. Um, I know, I know two payments. Um, who works for, who works for uh, that studio? Um, but it could take a lot. To answer your original point, because I've been talking so long. <laughs> but the next 20, 30 years, people can't get discouraged. We, as a whole, have to just keep doing it and hope the people behind us see it and then see where we. Didn't do enough, and then feel like yeah, and that led the people, at least people who have money, to be like, let me just throw some money in, there. let me just spend yeah. some money in that. And I also feel like with the hardship, that should actually put us a little bit ahead to oh, other people around the world. So when we get to like, mm. the like, the, like the Bollywood Indians, Indians just come to America for fun. <laughs> Bollywood is a whole yeah, that thriving, huge, that thriving thing, you know. They they pretty much rule YouTube. <laughs> I, went, I, went to, I went to Grenada for Karifta, um, and we met this because there was a there was a show here called Island MMTS. It was like a actor model like showcase. We met this girl. Um, she could only been twenty at the time. We met her over there she, at twenty years old. She didn't have a job because she gets a stipend for being a, a artist, just for being mm-hmm. a registered artist. And she's performed twice a week, and she's getting paid like a thousand dollars a week at twenty in Grenada. Like, there's nothing exists wow. for us. We shouldn't be working. We should not. I should not have to wake up on Monday to go to a job. Because if we live anywhere, any, anywhere else, we would get paid. You get paid. Yeah, you get paid. Be, and people, people confuse paid and rich. I say we'd be rich. No, we'd be able to pay our bills. Yeah, off you, you should be able to live off of your craft. Um, because no. I, I have a. I went to Cuba with the choir I was with before, mm. and we went over there. 
they sound amazing, honestly and truly. But their job is literally to sing and represent Cuba, mm-hmm. and that's why they tend to be top ten. Like, like the police, the police band, they ain't actual. They don't. They don't shoot. Their, yeah, their job yeah. is just. Stuff. But they said they go to the same police training. Right. So at least they they kind of live the dream because they got the the government benefits and they just just to sing and sing and perform. But there should be. You should be able to just wake up and do that. I've said been in the but like, yeah. a, a lot of our recent recent artists shine and um Lucy let me go. Oh my god. Oh uh, Lucy, let me Maybe. go. Oh. What's your name? Oh she can kill me too. Oh wow, that's crazy. You can hear right now. Lucy. That's my boy though. Yeah, Shine. Or yeah. they former Defense Force officers, they was Nishi Ellis. Nishi and Shine, who are two of the newest um additions to the Reagan Scrape genre. Uh, but I think I think Nishi's still in the force. I know for sure Shine left the force. Nishi, I heard the interview Nishi, Nishi, but I couldn't get out in time without a, a schedule. Mm-hmm. Our two most recent Breaking Street artists, who songs are kind of stop singing, on the force. And they finally find an avenue where they could share their suits and perform, but it's it's it took so long. Like a, lo- a lot of our artists, I know, like two chains, where they done live a whole career. Then mm-hmm. it's come back. They look like, at people on the side, sorry boy, you're trying for your dream. Me and sorry yeah. boy, have to see me at 2014. But sorry, why didn't have a whole a whole life doing well? He said as well. Like if he did anything well, it so I so I got you to make so I go well your things. But he didn't have a whole life in this thirties before he started doing this. Now he could make enough money where he just says go radio in the day, make jokes in the evening, TV show the brand deals. But at forty, and he could have he could have said, but I yeah I funny, but I don't do this. Yeah. So you know you never too old, never too young. But you gotta commit to it. Yeah, well, we in the. I feel like we in the pioneer and process. Oh, we so. yeah, but we we in there. Like people understand. Like yeah, people just get mad at my Drake comments, right? Like I like post a little Drake memes, but a lot of people, when we do what they doing, if I didn't do it first, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> people people yeah. just get mad when I, when I get my Drake on. But it, it, when I started, I people say, "Oh, why are you doing this? I run for a radio station. <laughs> uh-huh. This is a real job." Yeah. Cause wait for the next generation, somebody might blow up at five. Yeah, yeah. so you know, you know, so but especially my my child is we so Ryan's world, right? We huh? go into Walmart. The, the boy, <laughs> the boy have merchandise. boxes. The boy box. merchandise. My the child, boy have merchandise. I was like, oh, you are putting Ryan in your behind. Ryan selling underclothes, bro. <laughs> wow. R- Ryan is seven or eight years old. Ryan selling. Like. If you go to Walmart, uh-huh. Ryan got clothes. Ryan, serious thing. now Ryan parents now also have their one show. Oh, nice. So they Ryan put them on. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I waiting, I'm, I'm waiting for the next, for, for the for the first gaming kid star, you know? Like, the yeah. Ryan, I, I, that blew my mind. That was last, last um, Thanksgiving. I was like, <laughs> I had to look at my other iPad. This dude selling under, underwear, bro. Powerful. He has his own cartoon version of him on, on toys. The boy got not just merch. He ain't playing, man. <laughs> Jockey! <laughs> That's crazy, man. Jockey. So, yeah, I, I, I think... I, I, so, it also, it's twofold. Like, TikTok made it where people try to short-circuit the process. But also, um, it exposed a lot of people, too. Like, um, not, not to say this happened to him, but um, Steve Lacey made... Um, I wish you knew you Yeah, it kind of destroys your soul. People only know... The flicking five yeah, seconds. Yeah. And he performed the, you know, he burst away in the city. He was so, on my. <laughs> so, so, so they, they said, they said, boom, let me say, tell me to the phone, he said, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and like, people, Steve Lacey, and just come around, Steve Lacey was a part of um the internet, which came from Odd Future. Like, Steve Lacey just, first, first of all, just off talk like, Odd Future's a monster. Like, all yeah, tell the creator, they came out as a weirdo. But then you had him, then you had Frank, then you had um, Earl Sweatshirt, then you had Sid, of the, and then the internet make a thing. And the internet made one of the greatest neo soul songs long time, of all time called Girl. And then Steve Lacey leave. Um, it's just crazy. And they ain't stuff yet. I mean, at least I ain't stuff for sure. Speaking of rich, right? People like the top of the big tree, right? And people people don't like the answer of who the next four is. But Tyler got to be four or five. Just off of longevity. I do that, yeah. Just off of longevity and um, content that the boys have. Oh, he have his, he have his own concert that he, and he paid Drake a million just to perform one song. It's just it's amazing. But that's gold point. Speaking of Drake, how, did you like that song? The did album? I, I like the album. I listen to it. Yet. Yeah, I can't I can't speak on it fully because I almost it, feel like I tired, but like, no, no. So, so it's like in. so Jay Z has this quote where. Artists tend, not artists, rappers tend to content 
tend to get stuck in the AH thing where when they go hard. So Drake go hard when he's 23. Yeah. Drake's still rapping like he's 23. Mm. Content wise. He's still rapping about the gals who leave him. And, <laughs> but the, the song Bahamas Promises is pretty nice. And the girl who's the boat is. It's not a payment. Not a payment, but yeah, I don't know. Let that ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, but J. Cole, I can't believe it. You said it off camera, this could be, this could be J. Cole the first, number one, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I got in, in, stop, in like a few years. Ever since you tell us, man, he look like a bum. I need to start dressing yeah. again. He said, "Okay, I just gonna murder everybody's on." Yeah, that's all he's been doing. I don't even know why they. He's just been on a tail. Paying for his feature at this point. It's like, it's like, why, like, why are you <laughs> subject yourself to that type of pain? I'm telling you, man. I'm like, come on, but you know what he's about to do. Yeah, he gonna, like he gonna be a song, and he just re- he just tear it apart. Honestly, if that ain't even number one, I think his album still good. Between yeah, yeah, no, explode. I'm, I, I, I'm just kind of sad that this next album is his last album. Yeah. But we've been working on it for seven years, but this yeah, last album is this, last, is this <laughs> last album. The fall off. But yeah, but it just it's so much saying of course COVID really some of those people things. Like for instance, Carnival, we were this close to being with the top five carnivals, right? But mm. COVID kill off like so much bonds and make it back like, the first the first carnival after COVID was just us and a bunch of other people. And last year was us and a couple of bonds, but it's difficult to get to the road because you gotta and in behaviors as a people, we so finicky. We'd spend Two thousand dollars to go watch Beyonce. You spend, you save yeah. for that for six months, <laughs> mm-hmm. but you wouldn't. You'd you'd wait till the day. But look at Hans Wanger. Hans Wanger like, tickets came on July thirty first. Mm-hmm. Then they sold us in September twenty sixth. People say, "Oh my God, they sold out." Three months later, <laughs> <laughs> that's us. That's us for sure. <laughs> like we are so that week because I'm very I like I on time, but people are fit, and that's why I hate draw events. I hate the show events because we can't depend on being like the first Christmas, the first New Year's at, at Fusion, you know, on New Year's party. The month before the event, 20 tickets sold, 20. And they're ready to cancel the party. They just, just trust me, BM is the last one there. Yeah. How much do they tickets sold the night of New Year's Eve? Mm, probably wow. goes to like, I'd say 300. Probably saying that. 250. So 20 tickets sold in four weeks. And it was, it was just, oh, you know, I'm coming. Because you oh, ain't get, right, you have the money to pay the vendors and everything else. Like, right. Oh, and and, 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 and <laughs> that, nothing no one want to do is promote the event. And if it happened, no, no one show up. Yep. You know, just, just, just the sponge of tum- tumbleweeds passing through. Two hundred people, people buy things at night. And the rest of the beach, me and Jerron had to tell them, boy, just trust us. People are coming. <laughs> this fusion just open. It's a, it's a roof. The sky wasn't open up yet. So we the only rooftop bar that has it. They come in. They just think they pay till night up. And lo and behold, people. Boy, I tell you. These people here just have been down. Do you think we have to like teach them like <laughs> about the, the structure you, 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 you <laughs> start, of you, certain things? You start swinging them, like tell them it about the setup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then it really is left, man. Five tickets left. Then you just realize, like, I, 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 I tested before where you say, we need this the last day of sales, and like 200 people buy tickets. What's wrong with you? I think they do that in the States too. Like on Amazon, the thing was like only three of these things left. So, Carnival ca- ca- was, ca- was saying they do it in tears. Mm. So, let's say it's a thousand tickets. Yeah. So they put 200 in the first batch, raise the price, put 400 in the next batch, and raise the price. And put five in the next batch. I think Bame is like to spend more money anyways. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Original they still like to make. They like to promise people. They don't like to make. The, right. they, don't do. like, they don't like to make the promises. Like I telling you, I, can right. I pay, If I pay for this ticket in October for this thing in December, it means I have to go. Right. They want me to tell <laughs> December to be like, all right, yeah, I go. They don't, they don't yeah. want the, two they, they don't want you think you're influencing them. That's what, they, that's what they hate the term influencer. Who you think you is influencing me? One and two, they don't want to. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> they, don't, they don't want you. They don't want you to. Um, they say, make a promise. I don't, I don't want to promise you. What's your mind change in two months? But your mind change with Beyonce, though. Mm. So they go tickets. They go tickets to be the same way. <laughs> That's why. They go tickets to be the same way. If I, I don't, I don't want to come. But then, 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 then no much people. Hold like, on, I can hold the ticket. But I can give you the money later. You no. Know? Because I know you can come. And yeah, you waste exactly. my, my paper. I got print more tickets. You take my ticket. <laughs> I made those. Things. But yeah, but just how y'all feel coming come out of the NBA this year? Well, I just want to ask you how you feel about your team. Hey, um, how you feel about Swell Show is a dark magician. All right. Jamal Kane, who y'all probably know who he is. He was in oh, that Russia last year. <laughs> he was one of them undrafted players we had. He had you say Jamal who? Kane, C A I N. You don't know who he is. He, no, he's no, literally no. someone <laughs> they plucked last year. 
and he dropped 24 points on Wemby Head last night. So I just read the tweet, but it was like, but they think I'd investigate the Miami because last year it was Gabe Strews and Mark Strews. I mean, gave us a mass roots. And next day, it could be like Cole Spindler and Jamal Kane dropped 20 points on, on the Celtics. <laughs> and no one know who they are. So but you all always find people nobody know at the begin with them. I don't know how y'all do that. Bro, they they be suppressing, dude. Stop. <laughs> 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 so when my shoes first come out, I was like, who is so, my so shoes? People, <laughs> people, so what's happened is he, he just looked for, and that's just how people should approach anything. He just looked for personality. Mm. So if you like again, Mark Shoes was ranked high, you know, but Mark Shoes had a, a knee injury. Mark is playing for Celtics. Boston had Max, but they wave him. So they are very patient. If they if they see something you they like, they don't mind paying you a little bit of money. You know, going out G League team, work with us. And when you get healthy, we get, and then um is 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 this saying part what he says? The, the most the most roughingest, the most um uh in shape team like um, I remember Jimmy Neal on the podcast was like he's up, he could have came back for the big three. Mm. The contract offer was there, but Jimmy Neal say I he won't die. <laughs> no, he, it was he's like, but I was I was in my kitchen at three o'clock in the morning, afraid to eat a chip because <laughs> they every week the heaters do like a, um the, they don't they, they do a BMI test. Yeah. Wow. Jamil Neal say, as a grown ass man, <laughs> I in my house, I'm a millionaire. I in my house, <laughs> near a test. I near a test. Get to eat a potato chip. I can't do it no more. Wow. That's, so that's the, that gives you a type of um, mindset that yeah. he is coming with. So, and not not for everybody. Yeah. So that's what he's doing. It's fine. The people who mentally could go through that. Yeah. Because Kevin got night is up the story too every now and then. He's talking about Pat Riley. I done run it up and down and wait until somebody puke waiting to see who quit. So he ain't have to call them back. Wait, <laughs> literally, he's like, wait, I am a grown man. Why am I contemplating eating a chip in my own house? <laughs> he's like, what type of mental abuse? He's like, literally, to, I am Miami. I'm making $24 million. Why am I afraid of this ball, of this, this slick out of Thailand? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's because he's Italian. And it's the fact that he's doing to everybody. Yeah, everybody. You know, yeah, everybody. People don't know, Jimmy actually failed his first test when he signed with them, but they, they, they didn't have a relationship. They didn't want to piss Jimmy off. But mm-hmm. Jimmy actually failed his first test, and that's why Jimmy's in the gym and treat lucky to get that body weight down. Wow. <laughs> Wait. Wow. And then and the people is, like, say all these type of things, right? But since, so 2019 was a big summer, because that's when Kyrie and KD went to the Nets. That's when Kawhi and PG went to the Clippers, and that's when Jimmy came to Miami. Since 2019, Miami has the most wins in the playoffs. They didn't win a ring. Yeah, they've been close won, plenty of that. We made it to two finals, and we've won more games than everybody. So clearly the Bam and Jimmy duo and Spo work as Now, I did, so they, something came up today where, and I, I kind of agree. Mm. They say Bradley Beal is not $30 million better than Hero. And I I, I, I can agree with that. Not he is 30. not 30, <laughs> not $30 million dollars better than Hero. Yeah. He is a, he is, be- and pause, 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 super pause, phrasing. Beal is a better body. Pause. A better body than Hero. You know, Hero just is lanky, uh, whereas Beal have, um, just, just people body build differently. Like, I, my shoulders can get like this, you know? <laughs> you, know? you know? So. Beal is not, Beal is a, I must say, Beal is probably a stronger, like, upper body, screw on, and like, mm-hmm. Beal is get to the rim. And I, I, I'm curious to see what that Suns team do. But $30 million, but I don't know. Mm. Especially for, again, COVID really screw over two two people. No, he, Mickey Harrison, because the kind of cruises, and Tillman, I can't remember, I can't pronounce it, Fertilla, whatever, he owns the Rockets. He owns a restaurant business and a cruise line business. Oh, yikes. So <laughs> yeah. that's why people was like, this is why the Rockets trying to rush the development. Because wins mean playoffs, playoffs means yeah. more oh, money. Really, really, so that's what they revenue. spend about for Dylan and Jock Landale and um, Fred Van Vliet and Jeff Green because losing and, and costs money. <laughs> and he may exactly. And that's what he has been like. They get so they don't want to go in that second tax. So like they, they they go right they go right to the line. And, that, <laughs> and so so they so sports dark magic is also affecting talent because there's like well sports can just make somebody else. Why is, why spend them well, in the player? Yeah. When so so why play Mark Strux fifty six million or why play Gabe thirty five when Spoke could just make Hayward High Smith or Jamal Kane or Cole Swindler or Drew Peterson or or Archie Hampton into them, you know? So yeah, he yeah. working harder, <laughs> but Spo also is a maniac. People don't forget Spo used to be in so used to be the, the video man. And back there the video man means I just go to VHS, cut the tape, 
and put it under everybody though. Now it's easy, you can just do the iPad yeah. and cut, cut, cut and finally cut, 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 cut it up. But cut. so suppose uh, like he's a basketball for Savant and this is the second summer in a row where every GM because every I, I always look, I'm always curious to see what GMs think. Because they make the big decisions. This is the second year in a row. The GM survey has Spurs as the best coach, the best game manager, the best motivator, the best just overall leader in the NBA. Every day. <laughs> and he's never won a coach of a year. Because it's like, I guess it's expected. Like, okay, expect. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the other the day, I learned to not, not doubt my team. Because Spo clearly is Voldemort in disguise. <laughs> I, I've learned it. But um, I do think um, Denver has no depth. They have probably the worst, best. The worst bench in the NBA is Rusty Jackson, Christian Braun, and the ghost of DeAndre Jordan. Oh, that really? That him. band really <laughs> I won't bring in Julius Strathel. He's a sophomore. Um, Christian Braun, he cut a hip in the playoffs. Um, he's going to get more opportunity. But um, yeah, they, unless MPJ finally lives his mass contract, he lives back in lockup. Um, that bench is bad. All he can do is shoot. <laughs> Just yeah. Doesn't care. Yeah, and, and he, he made a point. To y'all, it's a bad shot. I am 6'11". And I also elevate pretty high in my yeah. shot. I don't feel con. He said, and he, he said, don't feel I don't feel contested. So to yeah. you, it might be a bad shot. Once, first of all, I catch a ball, ain't no one here. Cause I, I play small forward. When I elevate, it's, so to you, it's a bad shot. He said, and, and that, he shoots a pretty good percentage. The Heat was lucky enough; he shot like terrible in um, the first four games. Yeah. But he said, look, I am six eleven. I hands are long, yeah. and I <laughs> elevate. It's, not, it's never a bad shot. Um, I really, I like, I like the fit. Like I said, oh, but. Murray, Murray has had a, and his coach called him out, Michael Malone. It's good that you now play off Murray because you know we you know the bubble. We know what he did in the bubble, and we know how he cooked the Lakers. Yeah. But Malone said, do it in playoffs because he can get a super max, but he has to make an All NBA team, mm. and All NBA is voted on in the, the season. Yeah. season. And Murray is always he's out. He's turned up. But Michael Malone challenged him like two, three weeks ago. You want your max? We can give you it. We we actually want to pay you. Yeah, it could cost a lot. But we gonna pay you, but you gotta do it through the playoffs. For so games. That's mm -hmm. interesting. I usually be the reverse. Right. <laughs> right. You always say how play players a shrink. The Murray's wake up. That yeah. Game. And it's so crazy. I think y'all remember this. Um, Murray was drafted either a spot before or a spot after Buddy. And they had a yeah, yeah, they yeah. had a button rivalry like the first two years. But clearly Murray they and Buddy has been stuck, stuck, not, not again, stuck behind. People was um, vibing with Buddy. teams, bar teams. Bar teams though, with Buddy, Buddy and Jalen Brown do. Yeah, because because <laughs> if, if you really look at it, Buddy's teams wouldn't even have had the chance to get to where Murray's yeah, point exactly. is. So that, for him to shine in the th There's moments. only one record I want broken this season. Currently, Buddy has the most games played actively to not make the playoffs. So wow. I need, I need, yeah, regard, you uh, wherever you go, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. I need that record to be gone. <laughs> yeah. Because, I need, and yes, before people who like the Warriors come to me, yes, I know Curry missed like a season, right? But in the last four years, but he has the most trees. And yes, I know, yes, Clay missed two years and Curry missed, but I'm by default. He got the most. And he's by default. Okay, yeah. I don't give a damn. The best ability Maybe is your Do you know who was the number one and number two in series last year? I know it was Buddy and it was Clay. <laughs> Clay was number one in series last year. But he's number two. And Clay, and Clay acknowledged it's pretty dope that two boys in Ireland. Yeah. And, and so we have the best two guns. That, and people don't really understand how great certain players are, right? If the Slash Brothers didn't exist, Buddy and Dame would be the best two shooters in the NBA. Yeah, Dame is dunk. Yeah, Dame is damn time clutch. Yeah. But every record Curry made for quickest trees, Dame broke them. Some of them records that Curry made, but he also broke them. So the four best shooters in the NBA by far. Slap Brothers, Buddy and Dam. But of course, don't talk about Buddy and Dame because Buddy ain't doing playoffs yet. Because and Dame will only do it in a in a in a in a week a weaker conference. So listen to me. I people don't understand. Giannis is the best player in the NBA right now. Mm. He's never played with a guy as, as good as Dame. What are you supposed to do when Giannis is rolling? Either you suck with either you, you put two men buzz on Giannis rolling <laughs> to the to the rim and, let, and keep my damn of range everywhere. So it's like, do you do you do you hedge do you, on the screen? Do you, do you commit? Do you hedge on the screen yeah. to make Dam take a hesitate? But then he could just lob it to the Dam was ever played the, the most was, athletic yeah. player <laughs> Dam was ever played with, other than Jeremy Grant last year was Myers Leonard. Yikes. So we don't even know if Dam was a lob threat. <laughs> He's never had a lob threat. What the what if Dam was Chris Paul with the lobs? What in the world? Yeah, we don't even know. Just what to, if, to your point, we haven't seen Dam have someone to facilitate two. 
at this level. So uh, Chris Middleton is still having those issues. I don't know what they marked what they him because he hasn't practiced yet. But even so, if you take Middleton out, you have Lopez, Giannis, Bobby, Bobby Polis, you have um you Malik all Beasley. Type of Titans. <laughs> Just all people. You could probably, you could probably, you could probably space that floor Brooke, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's Brooke Brooke scary. and his brother. Yeah, 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 yeah but Robin, Robin was a backup um, big part of this. But the Polis here, yeah, yeah. Lopez. Um, and like, I, I'm curious to see the son just because Durant is not human. At his age, like, like they asked the Nurkic, how old is Durant like for 35? Nurkic is like, Durant is how old? <laughs> that man who, who spanked me up in practice is 35 years old, who had a like, kidney injury, you mean yeah. that man? Yep. So, so Durant, and Durant game has never been based on, Durant, Durant just like, like um, man, BJ, he don't, he don't feel like a dance. Yeah. He literally could just tiptoe. So I'm curious to see, um, and Buck, Buck has improved, but again, Beal is what Shaq used to call a, a Luda and a riot. Beal has scored 30 points on horrible teams. Yeah. Now what he can do where Durant could get 30, could get 30, but now Beal and Buck have to pass the ball. I'm, I'm happy for Eric. Eric has languished on bad teams for the last two years. Like Rockets, Eric even tried to get, a tra- tra- to get a tra- So originally his first contract after he got the Clippers um, was with the Suns, but the Pelicans matched it. So he, just, he was stuck. He was stuck at Pelicans for like four years. I don't know why they do that. Went to, he went, went to Houston, one and six one of the year, and then Rockets got bad because Harden yeah, left. left. Uh, and then now he finally had the Clippers last year, but then Kawhi body failed him again. Yeah. So now he literally is going to be, and, and pe- people stuck in the Suns. People say, oh, Aiden, this. Aiden was not going to be a fourth option. People, and it came out very strategically. It don't make Aiden sense said, to be a Aiden said this exact words. I'm happy for the Suns. Handling it like this, how they did it, which means Aiden asked for a trade. If you, if you listen to how Aiden said it, he and, and I and I and applaud I, that. You can't be mad at him because a fourth option. He is efficient. He is extremely efficient. And now he get to get to go hog in Portland and yeah. then scoop to get all the all the, the rookie of the year five whatever. But now all you think I do is just go. 20 and 10, 16 and 10. Yeah. Scoop to yeah. get one ten assists a game. Do you think that's why he played um the qualifiers the advertise himself mm-hmm. for sure mm-hmm. for sure <laughs> it was it was both ways it was a, a brand rebuilding for one and it was a uh, show people like this is what i could do if i if i'm the hub and he was and he and he has never been the like, aiden got people reverse the things I, I was at the 2018 draft um the sun's hired igor cost love igor was donkic um coach in at real madrid in europe so the everyone thought okay they, they hired Donkic's um, coach is going to trade Donkic. I mean, draft Donkic. They asked Igor, Aiden or Donkic? He's like, I ain't gonna lie. I've never seen Aiden. I can't honestly give that opinion. This is why you're not supposed to hire a coach before you draft okay. a number one pick. So imagine now if they was like, oh, Booker is hard too much. Booker, but these are too. They was, they, <laughs> they was like, oh, we don't think they'll survive. But now, now look what they do. They put Luca and Kyrie together. Yeah. So someone was fun enough to say maybe it could work. And and Booker's I would rather Booker than Carrie. I won't say Booker's better than Carrie. Mm. I would personally rather Booker than Carrie. Because you know what you're that's, getting. That's an night. interesting take. Ka- Carrie also have the nastiest handles ever known to man. Yeah. <laughs> it's it really is ridiculous. It's like it's 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 not humanly possible for his body to do the things he's been doing with the basketball. However, you, you just don't, don't know if he would carry play. you get. Yeah. Right. So I, I said that sorry to say this. Aiden has always been in an, an, in an unstable situation. When he got drafted, he got drafted to a coach who didn't know nothing about him, a coach who was <laughs> not an American, a coach who had played in um, Europe. The Euro League is is a different offense in there. So then there's forcing Booker to be a PG, and then boom, they, they fire him. They hire Monty. Monty, Aiden's a Bahamian. Okay, you can't talk to us in type of way. <laughs> <laughs> so Monty. Banging in Aiden Chess, book around, and then you bring the the cursor of all cursors and Chris Paul. So you got Chris Paul and Monty cursing Aiden. And what you do? You trade for Durant. So you have Chris Paul, Durant, and all the people talking about Aiden. Of course, I don't want to be here. You feel like Chris Paul is a good teammate? Chris Paul, as much as um, <clears throat> as much as people say oh, he's the most traded All Star, he's the, the most the most All Star. It won't happen this year, but every single team Chris Paul has played for, he's, he has made an all-star team. 
New Orleans, he made the All-Star team. Houston, he made the, sorry, Clippers, he made the All-Star team. Houston, he made the All-Star team. Suns, he's, so I think Chris Paul is the greatest, one of the greatest teammates ever. Um, but it's also my way or no way. So it didn't work with Harden, but we know Harden's special case. Harden's yeah, like, yeah, but I know little boy. Don't talk to that <laughs> That's fine. He's in some truth, yeah. Alpha and alpha. But Chris, Chris Paul is the reason why Tyson Chandler made so much money. Yeah. Um, he's the reason why Deandre Jordan made so much money. I'm Blake Griffin. I mean, Blake Griffin. Um, well, no, Blake, Blake, is, Blake, yeah, Blake, yeah. Blake actually got better in Detroit. Yeah. But then he did. He did the same thing. Grant Hill did. He played through an injury in the playoffs. So he shut off. Blake literally looked like LeBron, like Albano LeBron for that he one year in the gym. And then he, then he said, oh, let, me, let me play through these, because cause, cause Shaq didn't say, I saw off no Blake. <laughs> you got to listen to Shaq. So like, Shaq, 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 Shaq but ruined. Shaq, but Shaq is, a, Shaq is a completely different human being. Right. And, and Shaq, so, in my, so Shaq, Shaq, Shaq ruined, too. Shaq ruined, right? Because Dwight was, Dwight could have been perfectly fine, setting picks and rolling. But he listened to Shaq saying, I must post up, post up. And then people, don't know, people, people forget this. Brother Hayward punched right in his back, and he had that back so I always remember Ron Artest say, whatever they took out of uh, Dwight back, Dwight had it, had it in the locker room. It was like a big, like, abscess. It was really disgusting. So that year he played with Kobe. Yeah, Kobe talked to him like garbage. Mm -hmm. But Dwight basically was like 60%. But he, he again, he wanted to show I tough and I big because they all called me sissy and thing. And like, and it's <laughs> crazy how bad it was. The, the whole training story with Dwight was a fake. It was someone tried, it was a hoax. But people still just don't remember that. People be like, yeah, and he's like, man, no. <laughs> it was fake. It was fake. I feel bad with Dwight. He was, he was this close to getting signed with the Warriors this year. And, yeah, um, I heard and yeah. Kerr was like, no, we rather sign a young guy. So, oh, like, okay. you know, mother said. But um, wow. um, I think, I was saying Blake, yeah, like Blake, Blake was looking, he was like 25 or 5, Blake looked good. Then he tried grind through the playoffs with it, and then he never even been the same since. I think he better retire. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so, too. So, yeah, he got heat, but he for sure, um, again, Chris, you a great teammate. The Clippers franchise is not relevant. Yeah. Blake, I mean, Chris Paul wanted to go to the Clippers because of Blake. And then Dam and Doc was able to get, was able to manage the Sterling situation. Mm. And now the Clippers have not missed the playoffs since then. Chris Paul started that culture. He go to Houston and people don't understand. Yeah, the Warriors are amazing. But the, Cl the Clippers, no, the, he, Chris Paul and Harden were, could have beaten the Warriors twice. Yeah. But both times, Chris Paul got hurt. And that's why he said he stopped eating meat. He stopped eating meat. And he lost a lot of weight, and that's why he's able to play at this level longer. Mm. Then at the end of the day, Chris Paul is mm. shorter than me. Chris Paul, I think Chris Paul, I'm six one. Chris Paul is like five ten. Yeah. So imagine that even makes him greater than me. He doing all this. He just dunked practice last week. I can't dunk. From that, I... that man, seven years old, me almost like I can't dunk. This boy <laughs> catching Ali and dunking. So like Chris Paul is great. I mean, I don't hold his injuries against him. Like again, the man he going up against Russell Westbrook and Kyrie well, and Jack. <laughs> From I see you make the playoffs with the Thunder, I was like, wow. Dog, wow. that was, that, that's, that's what you know. That's, that's, that didn't even make sense. That's what you know. <laughs> that, 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 awesome. that boy good. That boy good. He took, he took a shot. And, oh, I have the eight. How do you feel about SGA? Because I have my opinion, but I don't say Oh, you mean being eight? No, I mean in general. Oh, yeah. I think he can ball. I think I he's a, yeah. What? Good. So, not this summer. Last summer, I said, after all the Ja hype, Ja is who SGA know he is. But because mm. Ja is dunk, People just read him, right? So last summer, and, and, and Rasik is crazy. Last summer, it was a bunch of Shay is underrated, 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 underrated. But Shay is, is used to be, used to get hurt a lot. Either he get hurt or he shut him down. So now Shay did what he knew he could do, and he getting all the accolades. Overrated, 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 overrated. Literally, he's yeah, been a year. Literally, that. he went last year, he was like, who was the most underrated player in the NBA? Shay gets Alexander. Now, who, now he, oh, he better than Booker? I mean, I understand ESPN's point. Yes, mm -hmm. Booker is the best shooter in the NBA, but he's now sharing the backcourt with Beal. Beal better hug about a lot. Yeah. SGA still only have Chet, who's a big man, Chet, Giddy. Giddy was a passer, Dodd, who's a, a defender. So Shay can still have the, the ball a lot. You know how the camera could go, though. They could try and put the camera on Chet. Boy, <laughs> you saw that game between him and, and, and Wemby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> and, and they asked Wemby if he'll talk. No, we don't talk. That, that, so that's that's beef. That's real, too. You're not going to go on. his. Head in the big chest. I was like, yeah. Man, you see know. what he do to Thomas Ryan last night? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that one. Listen to me. Listen to me. Where this basketball chat is. Listen to me. <laughs> I need you to see this right. Thomas Bryan is 6'11. Mm -hmm. He's 6'11. He's still in Denver. 
No, he's with us. He's out. He's, oh, okay, he's okay. bound back up. I want you to look at this. Look at his body was in the restricted area. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I, think I, I did look, see that, but I didn't. Look, look, really look, look, look at Thomas' face. Look at Thomas' face. <laughs> He is 6'11. Look at where Wemby is. Don't you see? Wemby yeah. foot, but the shoot your line, and he dunk. Insane. <laughs> so I, I, I hope he says healthy because he really, you shouldn't be yeah. able to do six, like seven yeah. four. You yeah. shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't. You sense. shouldn't be able to. to and then he step back, shoot us like, what? and then yeah, but he, he, he's, he's scary. He lacing it. <laughs> but I, I do think personally. So before watching preseason, I, I thought Chad had rookie year wrapped up, but Wemby is crazy. Yeah, I didn't think he was that far. But I, I still do think the Thunder would have a better record just because. But again, like I, I like um, Sochan and Keldon and Vassal and all them. Mm. I still think um, Pop Pop is Pop don't let his do his loose. He's reliving a bit. So he, like he like how Chet's gonna be able to play through six again. Chet is the first player on the Thunder last year. Their center was six eight. Yeah, and they basically add Chet to that. So I think. They'll be able to build on their play and win and probably get like a six seed. Whereas the Spurs, like Pop is very, uh, maybe it's why he's a goat. Personally, I don't think Phil is a goat because Phil, Tex, Phil didn't create the triangle. Tex did. I think Phil is a great manager of personalities. Mm. I think Pop is, he, 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 um, Paddy Mills and Derek he's White. Nurture it, yeah. Like he, he, he is, he, he would see you and be like, okay, I, if I twist this this way, like he's, he's like the Frankenstein. Yeah, um, Doctor Frankenstein. He he would see you and be like, and that's, and that's to the same what Spo does. Um, he realized trust could shoot. Gabe is defender. So he said, so, okay, Gabe, you six two, use a scorer. You can play. You can defend point guard. So I want you to defend point guard. You gotta learn how to go pass. Go into the league for two years. Learn how to be a point guard. Mm. So I think purpose is purpose that way. Where these are what you are good at. Let me see how I can hone this into a role for you. And then whereas Phil was like. Phil was great at if he doesn't choose to, I would build my offense around Max and Bison, but choose to already. Whereas Pop and Spo, they they twist what choose to into that. So I think that's my personal opinion. I think Pop is a good. So I think Pop 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 more. <laughs> even he said last year, well, yeah, it was the best record he ever had. But he had fun. He said he 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 hasn't done the drills he did last year. He said he hasn't done those drills since he was an army coach and, and he's a coach in the army. Like Pop said, he like to teach. So I feel like he he, he Pop could more so care about how I get shape because I think Pop, Pop got a four year extension, which takes which goes right up to where MB is um rookie rookie coach and then and honestly I think Pop when people and Pop is also the president. So I think Pop is not going to finish those four years. I think Pop going to just go be president. I honestly thought Pop was going to retire after his wife died, but then he, but then he got the Olympic um, position, yeah. and he didn't do that. So Pop has done everything, but now Wemby would be number three. Duncan, Robinson, now Wemby. So I think Pop could care more so about making sure Wemby becomes him we need to be, uh, than trying to win games. So that's why I think he might have been looking years because Pop, Pop would be like, oh, no, this, I don't like that. I don't want you to build up bad habits. Because again, most coaches let rookies, bad, bad teams let good players play through bad mistakes. Habits, yeah. And then and then they try to tweak them in, in practice, whereas Pop be like, you did twice? Such ass. <laughs> then he'd, 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 put, he'd, he'd go put in Jack Sarkar to so and he'd be like, huh, time they would be up at 20, you know? Yeah. They'd be up at 20, and he'd he tear into the, <laughs> but, that, but that, that, like, Duncan and I, I, I don't know if you're watching Last Hall of Fame. I mean, I know who was in it. Yeah. That, was, that was great. Like, yeah. That's basically got Charlotte. That was that was, was um, Pop and all of them was in Pop it. with um and um I missed some of very important trade, Dirk and <laughs> yeah and then listen to Manu Tony and Tim talk about because oh, yeah. Tony and Pop went in so you, so mm. you got two different types of Spurs stories you got the stories from Tony point of view oh. and you got the stories from from Pop point of view that man but again he Pop um Pop no, sorry Manu and Tony said I wouldn't be here if Pop didn't read that in and. Or encourage this and rule this back in. So I can't imagine what Wemby can look like after Pop finish. Like after the Dr. Frankenstein, be like, okay, do this and that and that and that. So I think that's yeah. his main focus is making him a better player. Whereas the Thunder, they need to make the playoffs now. Yeah. yeah. So check and again, chance to tell this player, you 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 better play through this. <laughs> you are. You ain't got no choice. Yeah. You know, because your backup center is going to be the what um um Dave Davis for turns. That's, that's that's the next one. That was Bertrand. Huh? Yes. Who who was crazy laughing? This is what I tell he people. Was three years, people sure. just be like, oh, um, uh, these places be overachieving inside um, someone in Europe. And um, I think I think it was either Pat someone. No, it was 
was in Pali. Maybe it was Pachi. Pachi to Beverly. Um, the NBA is pitching those players. So the NBA, funny that. air yeah. is just a, a shooter. And mm-hmm. that's why him and T- Tibbs bucking, whereas he just go to, to Europe and end up like a, looking like um, Devin Booker because they have other skills and their coaches allow them to play. Ch- mm-hmm. Whereas in the NBA, if you aren't, and and, it's, and I think even Jabari Parker said it and, they, and people like Kirsten, in the NBA, if you're one of the top three players, your job is now to complement those top three. So you want to be, you might be a big, uh, a post game player, but your yeah, the person you play in front of us and beat. I don't, so the poster says. The poster says. Yeah. So yeah. your job yeah. now is either, clear, either you clear learn, space. either you learn to shoot or you box out for him. Mm-hmm. You might clear actually space. be a better post player than Embiid because yeah. really truly Embiid is shoot too much jumpers, but he's a star of the team. So that's where a lot of players is is being. By the end of the day, they are making millions. Yeah, uh, millions. So that ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Even when you look at that Wizards team, you would be like. Why oh. everybody want to trade for this piece, this piece, this piece, and they terrible together? Yeah. Because it's like, they just making them do things that oh, they probably wouldn't normally do. Jordan Poole, and, and see, people understand, Jordan Poole have a ring. Yeah. Kyle Kuhl's have a ring. Them boys. They only got to shoot out the place. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't care for real. Nothing. Yeah. They have their ring. Mind to me, it sounds like we need to bring you back closer to the All Star yeah, break. Dog, I, love, I, I, can, <laughs> I can talk about basketball, but we can talk about the All Star team. I, but yeah, I, um, it's crazy what, what about to happen in Washington. It will be great for my fantasy team. What about to happen? <laughs> Kyle Kuzma yeah. and Jordan Poole would look like Shaq and Kobe. Twenty, they could be shooting twenty shots, but then boys, we put up numbers. Yeah, man. So man, Gario, this ended with the you know famous last question. Thanks for coming, man, to me. And honestly, I think we need to bring you back for some shop talk later, I live, later in the I year, live, man. I live around the corner. Just let me know. <laughs> you know you really I live around the corner. Just let me know. But, yeah, last question. We want to know what it is you're most fanatical about at right now. Right at this very moment. It's, it's, it's basketball for sure. I, 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 um, I in two fans. I's a sickle. I ain't gonna lie, sickle. I, <laughs> the Heat left all of their players at home. Jimmy Bomb. We played the Spurs last night with three two way players, three G Lakers, and I was watching that game. Like, yeah, uh huh. Like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a basketball fan. Like, and and I hate when people just be like, um, try to diminish WNBA. Dog, I love I love. Basketball, so like I hope in uh, that never day, me. Oh Lord. I don't think I get so so. Well, before we go there, <laughs> if the Vegas if Vegas wins tomorrow uh-huh. and sweep the Liberty, they'd be the first WMA team ever to sweep the playoffs. Jeez. They would wow. they would be arguably the greatest of all New York. They would they would, <laughs> they would arguably be the greatest WMA team ever. You don't want that again? This is also know. the best talent wise. Um, WB Finals, this since since Kenneth Spark and Maya Wong went at it, that's mm-hmm. like, I think, like 16, 17. Because you basically two super teams. You have um, the Vegas, who have, you have um, Kelsey Plum, um, um, you have young, Jackie Young, Gray. Um, Aja with Chelsea Gray. Himself, yeah. Chelsea Gray. Um, but Aja is insane, wait. Back to back, the defensive player of the year. Back to back, MVP. MVP. No, she no. Um, oh, Sweet, Sweet okay. won MVP. Okay, okay. Sweet won <laughs> MVP. Um, but yeah, like I feel bad for JJ, JJ for losing the game, but you get Asher just. And uh, so when they beat the Vegas in the season, Asher was like three for nine from because she's a, mid, a midi monster. She's eight for nine from mid range. Asher is locked in. She could smell the back. If she get bullied, she's like, yeah, that ain't happening. Yeah, yeah when she was <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but basketball for sure, like. If um I do it, it hoops, if it was hoops, I watch them a bit. I dare, I dare, you know. So even I do, I watch all those um the Olympic qualifier games, yeah, the World Cup games, and I and I know the players. Like I do this, yeah, boy. I can say, oh, you're on the horns, and yeah, boy, yeah, <laughs> dog, yeah, boy. Yeah, there, boy. So they play defense. Um, or they sub my the nail, you know, like dog. I I just get. I, I feel like you know the boy playing the piano too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up the music going? Oh. <laughs> Thinking about which the Atlanta organs look though. Remember, remember during the All-Star game, he started to do this, we playing like those songs. He, he, he's played for the, for the um, Atlanta Hawks. I got it. That's the, oh, okay. He, he, he's been playing trap beats on the piano. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, there you have it. Another sound bar. Sit down with Mr. Tabby. Bad one. Bad one. Bad one. 
Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're watching on any of the audio platforms, please do leave us a five-star review. Leave your comments, whether it's on Facebook, IG, YouTube, anywhere. Let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. You know, we're here to facilitate what we want to do, but we love hearing back from you all as well. So until next time, thank you. And Timmy, can you drop uh, your social media so, handles as well? T-I-M-M, three years, or Timmy two for two. It was only me. So just Timmy with three years. I'll take my two for two on Facebook and I'm everywhere. YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Threads, LinkedIn. Yeah, this is, if it was a social media platform, I dare. Yeah. I dare. All right. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's all I just got to let it flow sometimes. <laughs>